OTAN Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I hope you had a, a good stretch break there for the final push today. Um, so, yes, we are here today to um, present on our final report on our uh, two-year DLAC experience. Our um, DLAC members include our director, Susan Murphy, who I believe is joining us today online. So welcome, Suzanne. Um, I am our ESL uh, program coordinator and also an ESL instructor. I teach um, an intermediate low ESL class and also a multi-level um, intermediate to advanced class. Um, Susan um, is also an ESL instructor. She teaches a also a multi-level class for intermediate low to advanced, and she uh, coordinates our ESL distance learning program. She also yep. teaches ESL at our neighboring school district, um, Mount Diablo Adult Education in Concord. Um, <clears throat> A few of our other um, contributors um, to our DLAC um, pro um, project is Amy Wallace. Um, she was actually our ESL program assistant last year in our first year and has since been promoted to our office manager. Um, and you'll hear more about her contributions uh, later on. We have uh, uh, Bruno Sablan, our CTE coordinator, who is also an ESL instructor um, at a uh, neighboring community in college, and Patty Pacheco, who's our current ESL program uh, assistant. And we uh, would also, again, like to um, show our appreciation to Blair Roy, our DLAC coach, um, and also our co-team from Placer um, School for Adults. Um, a shout out to them. Uh, we um, work together on um, numerous uh, DLAC assignments together. So a little bit about our school. Um, Martinez Adult School is located about 20 miles east of San Francisco. Um, we're a small but mighty school. We have about 1,200 students, um, 120 ESL students currently, five, e five ESL teachers and we have two CTE ESL teachers that help us with our, our computer um, skills classes. And on the right, you can see um, we do offer a variety of uh, programs at our school. So um, we would like, again, to show our appreciation to Destiny Simpson, our expert facilitator for our DLAC um, Ideal 101 and 102 classes. Um, the course uh, helped us to develop a framework for our um, DLAC site plan project. Um, it helped us stay on focus and on target with developing our action plan. Um, and also we discovered lots of new exciting um, teaching tools and strategies um, through this course. Um, so with the help of our uh, IDEA 101 class, uh, course and also um, with the assistance of our DLAC coach Blair Roy, um, we have developed our um, project goal that I'll, I'll read as follows. So by the end of two, uh, 2021, we um, wanted that 75% of our ESL students in our blended learning classes um, would have you know, access to software in our Canvas LMS, video conferencing, uh, such as Zoom and other extension activities that would increase their listening, speaking, reading and writing skills as verified by increased CASAS test scores, EL civics assessments, and improved retention. So we'd like to happily report that we 
came near to our goal. Um, you know, after analyzing the data, we have about uh, 60. 7% of our students enrolled in our blended ESL classes um, had improved CASAS test scores, and 84% uh, of our students uh, passed their EL Civics um, assessments. So we're very pleased with that result, and obviously it's a work in progress. So I'd like to now turn it over to my co-team member, Susan Rausch. Hey, thank you. Um, in the fall of 2021, we resumed in class um, in person instruction. And these are pictures of our WIOA lab as well as um, students in the classroom. Uh, if you could next slide, please. Um, <clears throat> this is an example of how we used Ideal 102. As a result of returning to in person instruction, we realized that we needed to restart our distance learning program for those who could not return. We decided to offer two limited programs with only two levels and a maximum of eight students. We chose to use Burlington Core. Uh, next. I built the um, course on our school Canvas platform while um, Burlington English is an awesome, has awesome content. It is not fully, um, it did not fully meet our rubric expectations. First of all, the program is not fully integrated with Canvas. So we enroll our students in both Burlington English and Canvas. Second, Burlington Core doesn't um, meet our rubric standards for detailed grammar instruction. So I added YouTube videos to Canvas. In addition, Burlington um, test and additional practice materials are not accessible to students. However, I easily added them through Canvas. Finally, we wanted our distance learning students to complete EL Civics objectives as well. Uh, Canvas easily allowed me to add additional Burlington English EL Civics um, materials to our distance learning program. And that allowed us to accomplish our goal. Next. Um, just like the rest of you, we have encountered our challenges. And um, for to solve low student enrollment programs, our director hired full capacity marketing to handle social media campaigns and student recruitment. Next. To solve our student resistance to use computers and complete homework, we took a multi-step approach. First, we set out to normalize computer usage by providing additional courses. This spring, we started a Spanish speakers computer course. And last spring, we started the basic um, skills computer course featured here on the slide. Just recently, we purchased 60 laptops, which will be in our ESL classrooms for daily use. We trust that um, continuous access and practice um, with that, our students will become more familiar and at ease navigating through our Canvas courses. With this, we trust that completing homework online will no longer become a barrier. Thank you, next. As we work through our DLAC program, we realized we needed lots of pieces to get everything online. With our guidance, Amy created many useful tools for our students and our staff, including, but not limited to, the online testing, um, the CASAS testing procedures, um, the Martinez Adult Education Google site website, um, student tutorials for registration and orientation, campus orientation, and she and I collaborated to work on a student support services Canvas course. It's called a course because I didn't know what else to call it. And a technology and digital skills survey so we may better meet our students' needs. Next. Transition takes time. <clears throat> Not only are we converting 
all our classes to Canvas, but we are moving from book-based to web-based instruction. Now that we have 60 new laptops, we plan to use them daily. We need to identify web-based programs, which provide opportunities for our students to build ESL skills and digital literacy skills simultaneously. We are currently evaluating materials at this time. Finally, we plan to strengthen our collaboration between programs and schools. Next. Um, as a school, we frequently collaborate with other departments on a regular basis. This is one of the strengths of our small school. Part of our DLAC proposal was to increase collaboration between departments. Our current hope is to build a laptop onboarding mini course with our CTE department, focusing on best practices for laptop use and navigation. We will continue to collaborate with other departments on a regular basis. So far, we have had two EIT courses, um, team taught by ESL and CTE instructors. Twice yearly, we have a ESL, our ESL students attend the CTE open house. Um, just recently, our ESL students, CTE and HSE, attended a um, professionalism in the workplace workshop. And at the beginning of May, these students in the picture attended the Diablo Valley College tour. Next. Uh, collaborating is a natural fit for me because I work for um, two schools and I um, at, Mar or at Mount Diablo, I work with Marin Anton, who was a DLocker from cohort two. So we collaborate um, frequently. This is a tweak on her idea of the teacher share desk and I just built ours on campus. Next. In addition, Marin and I shared other EL civics related um, materials. Marin created a 14 week um, community resource newsletter that has um, that highlights resources in central Contra Costa County. Um, these have been added to our student support services courses. Last year, my communications course um, attended a nine week lunch and learn series hosted by our library system and taught by community emergency response team trainers. Each week, my students created a um, PowerPoint presentation on the materials covered. And I shared this with Marin. Next. Um, we have greatly benefited from um, Dr. Porter and his training sessions. Thank you so much. Next. Um, perhaps the most beneficial session included the Gallup Strengths and Weaknesses Utilization um, Assessment and Utilization. This was extremely helpful because Dr. Porter showed us how to effectively utilize our resources and enhance our, um, the work we do as a team. Next. Oh, Leif, back to you. Okay, um, so again, Susan and I would like to thank our uh, school director, Suzanne Murphy, for um, setting a culture of change um, at our school. Um, under her leadership, we've uh, made Canvas our um, school-wide uh, LMS um, and has provided you know, professional development training for our instructors. Um, she encourages all instructors to explore online uh, learning materials um, as we move away from paper texts um, and also adapting new technology tools um, uh, and uh, strategies to uh, enhance our um, classroom instruction. So thank you, Suzanne. Um, our next steps, um, we are planning, uh, again, uh, part of our action plan towards our site plan was to develop a teacher-student class expectations agreement 
so that, um, you know, a contract, so to speak, um, where students would sign it and the teacher as well, um, just to make sure that the student and uh, students understand the expectations of the, of the class. And as Susan mentioned about the laptop orientation, so we're, um, we, we're going to be developing an, an orientation for both uh, students and, and staff on, on using the laptops in the classrooms. And finally, um, we'll continue um, working with our instructors to develop their Canvas courses. And um, one of our ideas is to develop, um, as a department, um, develop a support group to uh, help each other um, with um, ideas and help with developing their courses and impl implementing them with their classes. Um, so in summary, we want to, of course, thank the OTAN team. Um, we feel good about what we've done um, during our two years and what we've accomplished. Um, we have our action plan and the next steps that will follow and we'll certainly use our skills that we've taken away from our experience um, to apply to our professional um, lives as we go forward. And also sharing, of course, what we have learned with uh, uh, with others at our uh, adult school and uh, other colleagues as well, and encourage them to participate in DLAC. Um, so a final thank you to Blair, um, again, for helping us uh, with our team building skills and also um, improving our, our technology um, know-how. <laughs> so we appreciate that. and. Uh, Thank you to, to everyone. It's been a great ride. All right, good, great job, thank you.